Terrapins who seek revenge 35 miles from home on Big Ten Network. It is time to meet the netminders. Mark, the Wolverines have decided that uh, Hunter Taylor is their man. They want him to play with some swagger. Yeah, came in in the second half in the semifinal win against Penn State. Made three critical saves right off the bat. Finished with eight. Provided a real spark and put the Wolverines on their way. At the opposite end, no intrigue. It's Brian Rupel for Maryland, a freshman who hasn't flinched under pressure. Came in and has been a fortified starter backing up this defense for Maryland that has had some lineup shuffle due to injury, but Rupel has been a constant. Come back. Michigan did not allow it. They grew up that day. Long will keep it on the outside. Kelly works in against Cosgrove. Bad angle, and the freshman gets a chunk of that. The netminder Hunter Taylor with his first stop of the game. And now it's Justin Brown. Brown working against Dante Trader, a two-sport athlete for the Terps. Rupel there to flush out Bain. Nice stick check by the netminder. He caused the turnover, and Maycar will cleave. Dove to the sideline and keeps possession for Michigan. Head play. Heady play by Darby. Jackson swings it. Bain turns on the dip and dunk. Great save by Rupel. Matching up. Stick. Cross for cross there, and waves. And they've had to do it this year more than others because of all the new personnel and a new offensive coordinator in Jake Bernhardt. Brendan off the hitch, he fires. And Taylor reads it well in the goal for the Wolverines, his second stop. Ship game and mark, the netminders are sharp right off the jump. And young, <laughs> both of them freshmen, but playing well beyond their years. Hunter Taylor split time throughout the 2023 season with Shane Carr. Brian Ruppel pressed into service after Logan McNaney had a season ending injury against Loyola. Teddy Dolan got the start against Syracuse. John Tillman opened up a goalie competition. Ruppel won it, and the rest is history. Both of these freshmen really playing well in the early going. Level at two, and we're back to the faceoff dot. Weirman against Wheatfeld, and it's Weirman popping this one through and going right to the cage. Stopped by Taylor. Five faceoff wins for Weirman in the first quarter alone. Wow, what a save by Taylor. That was a good shot by Weirman. Looking to go five hole, he smothers it. But because they are go blue and they have a tremendous amount of resources, you figure that they've got to get good right away. But this is a program brick by brick is being built, and they're feeling the success on the doorstep. Defense on chorus through a fake, and they got it just enough disruption in the shot. Jump shot here from Long, a change of pace. Hunter Taylor, the freshman netminder, stayed with it. And now he comes out of the cage to help on the cleave. Kevin Connery says of 52 in the blue, his young netminder, the future is incredibly bright. One of the top goalie recruits in his class. Switching the field, Syracuse. Hedging out there defensively, it's Cosgrove. Spanos over the top, just knocked away by Taylor. Ball down, Whitney fighting for it. It's raked into the crease, and the Wolverines have it surrounded. What a smart play by Hunter Taylor. Shows toughness and athleticism by going out, picks up the ground ball, and then dumps it into the crease. Loose ball, comes back into the crease and picks it up. That was absolutely brilliant because you cannot re-enter the crease as a player that you pick up a ground ball. That is just super heady play, super smart play, and that is kind of defining how Michigan is playing right now. Zawada looking over the top, skip it on through. Cohen. Keeping it hot. So what another flash pass. Fine save. Rupel off the quick stick of Bain for his third stop on the afternoon. For Daniel Kelly, who has goals in every game this season for Maryland. 45 in the white. 20 seconds to shoot. Long fires. Kicked away by Taylor. The rebound vacuumed up by Andrew Darby. Good save by Taylor. That two-man game got the matchups switched. How long got a short stick? Aronson recognizing that, gets into the alley. Rammed there by Trader. Aronson undaunted and a fine save by Rupel. Snaps the outlet for Maycar. He wants to run in transition. Tough both ways. Seven here. Erks a split dodge, gets to the middle. Chorus hovering goal line extended. Stops, starts, turns, stop there, denied by Taylor. The freshman netminder has seven saves today. Seven seconds and I felt like he just rushed it way too much. Could have taken a little bit more time on that clear. Fearful of the failure to advance. You have 20 seconds to get it across the midline. Spanos comes one. Spanos powering his way towards the cage. 
Quick slide. Here comes the help. Spanos has it stopped by Taylor. That's a matchup that Michigan fears. And that's going to be an interference on Maryland. Urza makes contact with the goaltender's stick while he's in the crease. Free clear Wolverines. The alley tries to get underneath. Red wasn't buying. Mulholland will try it again. From the angle, kick save, Rupel. Off the turf to Makar. Lights out here tonight. They get a lot of accolades, and deservedly so, for their offense. Sawada on the feed. Cohen fires. Another save for Rupel. His outlet floats to midfield. McDonald chasing. John Tillman was telling us earlier today as Houlihan goes to the goal. Feeds there to the open. Sawada off the hitch. Fine stop by Rupel. Rupel took that one off of his right hand. He's shaking it. All the way back to the crease. You can tell that one stung. Looking at his pinky as he's in the crease. You hear the defensive coordination from the Michigan sideline. Chorus is bid. That rattled around off the headgear of Ryan Schreiber. And the netminder, Hunter Taylor, is now 60 yards from the cage. Look at this guy. I thought he was going to go to the goal. Harvey, who was terrific against TJ Malone, the Big Ten Offensive Player of the Year on Thursday. Syracuse gets room and fires. That's stabbed by Hunter Taylor, who has gone the distance for the Wolverines, now into double figures and saves. And that's probably Ohio State has been to a championship game, national championship 2017, and a Big Ten title game. Who would have thought that it could be, and if this holds up, will be, the Michigan Wolverines. I mean, we're just talking about Michigan, such a great accomplishment in making the Big Ten tournament and winning a quarterfinal game they're right on the doorstep. All advanced to the big dance. Maryland and Ohio State made it all the way to the national championship game. Bonomi to the empty cage and a diving Rupel. Made a spectacular looking stop there. Spanos working on the outside. Syracuse off the roll dodge. He puts that one to the goal. That was uh, rattling around off of Taylor in the frame of the net out of bounds. Teddy Dolan comes on in the cage now for Maryland. He's the Maryland sportsmanship honoree this season. Become the freshman star that he's become in College Park. Roughed up by the Wolverines today, though. This snapshot from Kelly rejected by Hunter Taylor. Taylor has been sound in goal. Got the start over Shane Carr and has not looked back. You want to talk about leadership. Logan McNamee during that sequence coming up on the bench talking with Brian Ruppel, patting him on the back. I'm sure sharing words of encouragement. So McNamee, even though he can't compete between the lines, still a big time presence for this Maryland lacrosse team. Bench. Through the sunlight. Over the top and outside rip. Taylor makes the save. Final 15 seconds. The Michigan Wolverines. No stage fright in this championship game. First time here, first time successful. Michigan wins over Maryland, 14 to five. And Wendy Fallon making the presentation to the Michigan Wolverines.